everybody video here for you today we're going to continue our look at ancient history from around the world today we're going to look at a part of the world that i have not talked about a lot recently and this is not the subject of my video but ancient australia i just have not talked about it enough on my channel but i just want to make you aware of a story that came out yesterday this is physics.org New archaeological discoveries in Australia highlight lack of protections for submerged indigenous sites. And they have a map here. And there is sites just off the coast that are underwater now. And that is what this story is about. So I will leave this link below if you want to check it out. Now going back to today's story, Sulawesi is a place I talked about last fall. That was a pretty popular video and a very interesting one to make. But that is where some new research has come out of, and it is very interesting, and I'm going to share it today. But here is Sulawesi right down here. I know there has been some stories done. I know Mad at Ancient Architects last year covered the ancient cave art that was found down here. In the video I made, I came over some ruins I just thought were fascinating. Here is a story from Nature from the end of last week. First ancient human DNA found from key Asian migration route. It says Sulawesi has some of the world's oldest cave art, but ancient human remains have been scarce. Now a fossil with DNA hints at a mysterious lineage of people. And there is the remains of a young woman. It says the compressed skull and teeth of a young woman were found inside an Indonesian cave. And I think this discovery was made in 2015, but new research on these remains has definitely produce some very interesting results. Just reading the story here, it says, a 7,000-year-old skeleton of a teenage hunter-gatherer from Sulawesi in Indonesia could be the first remains found from a mysterious ancient culture known as the Tolians. Researchers report this week in Nature, the largely complete fossil of a roughly 18-year-old Stone Age woman was found in 2015 in a fetal position in a limestone cave on Sulawesi, the island is part of a region known as Walesia, which forms the central islands of the Indonesian archipelago. It says DNA extracted from the skull suggests the woman shared ancestry with New Guineans and Aboriginal Australians as well as with an extinct species of ancient humans. This is the first time anyone's found ancient DNA in that region, says Adam Brune, an archaeologist at the Australian Research Center for Human Evolution at Griffith University. It says the author says she may be one of the Tolian people whose existence is known from scant archaeological evidence, such as distinctly notched stone tools who were thought to have lived in Sulawesi at around the same time. The remains were found alongside Tolian type tools providing strong evidence of the woman's link to these little-known people. It says, Wallacea is a gateway through which ancestors of modern Papuan and Aboriginal Australians traveled, but very few ancient remains have been discovered there. One of the most famous is the diminutive hobbit skeleton of the early human species, Homo floresiensis, which was found on the island of Flores, south of Sulawesi. And I probably butchered the pronunciation there. It states how this place is not very conducive to preserving DNA evidence, but where she was buried in this limestone cave helped with that preservation. It says, Kelly says it's possible that the woman's ancestors were part of a movement of people migrating through Sulawesi to Australia and New Guinea around 50 to 60,000 years ago, but that her lineage formed an offshoot population that remained in Sulawesi. And people were traveling by boats back then. Sulawesi was not connected by any land bridge before sea levels rose. It says another possibility is that her ancestors were part of a later return wave of migration back into Wallacea from Australia and New Guinea. And here is where it gets pretty interesting. It says the woman's genome also contained Denisovan DNA. The Denisovans are an extinct subspecies of ancient human who lived 500,000 to 30,000 years ago and whose existence is known only through fossil discoveries in Siberia and on the Tibetan Plateau. The presence of Denisovan genetic material, also found in people in Australia and New Guinea, suggests that Wallacea might have been a region in which Denisovans and modern humans intermingled and interbred. It says there is also the question of whether this individual might have been linked to the 44,000-year-old 
cave paintings discovered in 2019. And, of course, not this person directly, but where this person's lineage came from. And it says, it is regarded as some of the world's oldest known figurative cave art. It will be super interesting to be able to figure out if there was any connections between the people who made the paintings and the Tolians. I think the Denisovan DNA connection is very interesting. Just opens up a new line of questioning regarding that ancient culture. And this is very interesting as far as early human migration. People were getting around in boats a lot earlier than we realize or can imagine or just too stubborn to realize what was going on back then. But it, just summing up this article, it says, Indonesian scientists involved with the project have named the woman Bessie, which is just a local word for young woman. Although physically different than the current population of Sulawesi, the Bessie will still be considered part of human history on the island. Brum says that no trace of the woman's genetic lineage has been so far found in samples taken from modern day inhabitants of Sulawesi. However, this could be because the diverse population has not been sampled thoroughly enough. It's possible that the descendants of these Tolian people survived and lived in some parts of South Sulawesi until recently, and their genes could still be surviving today even though their culture disappeared thousands of years ago. So that's a very interesting article. A few different websites came out with stories on this, but I will leave these links below. Here's another website I will leave below. 7,200 year old skeleton of new type of ancient human unearthed in Indonesia. It says the Tolians were a seafaring hunter gatherers who lived in South Sulawesi, the world's 11th largest island from 8,000 to 1,500 years ago talks about them related through DNA to the Papuans, the indigenous Australians, and the Denisovans. So if the Tolians got to Sulawesi 8,000 years ago, they were a seafaring hunter-gatherer group. And I mentioned that coming from Cyprus in a video from about three or four weeks ago. People were sailing a long time ago, but if they got here 8,000 years ago, where were they before this? Here is the video I made on Sulawesi. I guess I made this in January of this year. But some interesting statues, other things found on this island. I think I stated that this statue was just glad to be there. I will leave the link to this video below. Sulawesi has a lot of interesting statues. Kind of a big mystery where some of this comes from, but has features like that. What does that represent? It has this stone carving here. What does that represent? I think I asked that when I made the video originally. But as I said, I will leave this video link below. It's one of my more favorite subjects I've researched about a culture I didn't know a thing about originally. That's what it's all about, learning. There is another statue. Here is another one. A lot of these have the hands or the arms wrapped around the midsection, like statues at... Uh, Gobekli Tepe, pillars at Gobekli Tepe, or Moai at Easter Island. There's another statue just kind of buried by time. Another one, the phallus symbol, the arms, hands around the midsection, like the Moai at Easter Island, as I stated. But that is a little look at my video I did in January. I will leave the link below. But one of the more fascinating subjects I have researched Sulawesi is a very interesting place. Here is a story from 2018. Ancient stone tools found on Sulawesi, but who made them remains a mystery. So maybe this current research is answering some old questions. But down here, it shows how it looked before sea level rise here. People were sailing a long time ago. Sulawesi seems to have a very interesting, a very deep history. Here, 44,000 year old cave paintings. I also find it very interesting. We are having all these new reports of new types of humans being found. I reported on one in the Middle East, and here is a report on the stunning dragon man skull, maybe an elusive Denisovan or new species of human. It seems research is coming up with all sorts of new interesting findings these days on where human history has come from. That is my video on some new research done on a finding made in 2015 migration prehistory denisovans sulawesi all very cool hope you thought that was interesting you all have
Very nice day.